hi and welcome back again for another amazing painting brush tips with sherry so today we are going to be painting this serenity um, painting i thought why not go with something soft and smoothing bright but yet calming so we are going to be using a bunch of different colors today our color palette is kind of unique because we've got a lot of brighter colors which would be the purples and the reds we have a little phthalo green phthalo blue there no green yellow black and white i did put purple and pink next to each other because we might be mixing those up a little bit um, but we're also going to use a lot of the red where we are going to be mixing colors to make the purples and the pinks. So we're going to use a couple different brushes in this painting. We have, I have four here, but we probably won't use all of them, but it's good to just have a handful of different brushes. So I have the big daddy brush right here. That's our favorite, right? Cause he gets to do all the work. And we have the little round brush. It's more of like a medium round brush. Uh, we have a little square one, and then we have a little tiny baby one. That's our little Nico brush. <laughs> That's what he likes to call it. So we are going to start off by getting our tools wet. We like to put them in water, let them sit. It's just proper brush care. You don't want to break up your bristles or anything. When I go to clean my brushes, I just rub them at the bottom of the cup like I'm kind of washing my hair. Then I'm going to touch my paper towel to help it absorb some of the water before I jump right in. I always start with my lightest colors first. My lightest color is going to be yellow. So grab some white, grab some yellow, and a lot of times too, which I wasn't even thinking, that I like to do is I like to make a horizon line so you can pick where you want it to go and just make a line. Usually I do it with water but it's okay to do it with the yellow. Then you're just going to start adding it onto your canvas here. You hear that brush? That sounds good. I'm gonna add a little bit more white just cause I want it more pastel looking and softer. When I get to my side, I'm gonna hit that side and just soften it up. Our next color, we can go into the blues and the reds. Let that dry a little bit. If you want, you can hit it with a blow dryer. Um, in between or you can just let it sit there and dry maybe go grab a cup of coffee let the dog out whatever you don't want to go over the blue too much with the yellow because it's going to make green so we'll start up here in the corner and work our way down so the blue is super super light so if you want you can add white to your painting first just regular white paint Good thing I didn't have on Abby's sweatshirt because I just splashed white paint all over me. I borrowed her sweatshirt because I was cold and she was like, you need to not wear that when you're painting. So I didn't. So I'm just going to add a bunch of white up here. It just kind of helps with the darkness of um, the paint. Add a whole bunch of white. It doesn't have to be super thick. It doesn't even have to cover all of it. Just get it on there. Then I'm gonna come in with my blue and I'm gonna add a little white to it. Okay. Super, 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 super light. See how it's super light? If I wouldn't have added that white on the canvas, it would have been a little darker. I can show you an example down here too. So I just added that there. I am gonna add a little bit over here, which I'm a little darker because I didn't add a bunch of white over there. So I'm just gonna come in with the white here and just throw some on. I'm going right up against this line. 
it's dry enough, mine is, because I don't really put a lot of paint on. But if yours isn't dry, make sure you get it a little bit dry. There is a little blue over here, not a lot. Kind of spread that around. Soften it all up. Get this nice and soft. And then I'm going to rinse my brush. I probably just got paint on my face because I feel like I just did, but it's okay. It's okay. Nobody will tell me. I'll walk around all day with it on there. I don't want this brush. I don't want that brush. Which brush? I want this brush. I'm going to take the medium brush and I'm just going to soften up some of this yellow here. I'm just using a brush just to soften it. Do you see how it's kind of blending together? I only use water to do that. A pencil eraser or something there. Just using a little water to soften it up. Okay, I'm going to go back to my big brush. And we're going to do pink. Pink, pink, pink. I have pink here. I have some neon pink, okay? Now remember, we added some white to the canvas. If you think that your white is dry, just add more white. Mine does have a little pink in it, but it's okay. If you don't have pink, you can always mix red and white. Here's the red. And pull it over here. You can mix some white in there, and it'll make pink, see? And that's a good shade of pink. Perfect. If you want to go lighter, again, you're just going to add more white. I'm running out of white, so we're going to add it here. We're going to hope that it doesn't explode. Maybe. There we go. Okay, that was paintness. I hate when it, does, it like squirts out everywhere. It's just a big mess. And take some more white, just add it in. So if you mix uh, red and blue, you're going to get purple. So that's where the purple kind of comes in when you're doing this. But if you don't want to have the red and blue mix, you can always just grab a little bit of purple too and add it in. Do you see how it just kind of fills it in? It doesn't add too much. We don't want a ton of paint on our brush, just little bits. I'm going to add more white because I feel like I'm going too dark again. And I'm going to do my sides. Not everyone does their sides. You don't have to do your sides if you don't want to. I like to add a little pink through here. I'm just going to hit this over here with a little purple. See how lightly, I mean, I'm barely putting anything on my brush. Just hitting these sides. Whoop, I almost lost it. Wouldn't be the first time. I am going to add a little purple here, but then I'm going to come back in with my light blue. Just want to also add, there we go. See how when I added the blue and white over the purple, it still softened it up, but you could still see the purple through it. And again, I'm not adding a ton of paint. I'm just, what I like to do is just scrape my brush. And then I just use the tip and just feather it out. Okay. If you need to add just some water, you can do that. Just a little tip of your brush in there. Touch your paper towel with it. And then just really lightly, I'm just going to spread this out too with my finger. And I'm going to hit this side here. 
Don't be scared to use your finger or if you wanted like a paper towel you could use. If you feel like you're just not blending it out enough. And I'm just gonna throw a little here and a little up here. I think I'm done with the sky part. I'm gonna let it set. I'm gonna work down here because I want this to dry a little bit. So I'm gonna rinse my brush. That's so loud. I have so many brushes and makeup. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm now making musical brushes for you. Okay, we're gonna go down the middle. Here's this middle part here, and it kind of goes this way. There's some gray in there, so we're gonna add the gray in. I'm gonna start off with the white and yellow and just go super soft here. It doesn't matter where you put it because, it, and you'd rather go bigger than smaller. I need to rinse my brush because now I need to come in with the purple. I'm gonna use a, I'm gonna use a smaller brush. We're gonna use a smaller square brush, which I don't even think we talked about having, but you should have it if you bought like a big brush kit. Those are fun to do because then you have a ton of different brushes. Then I'm gonna add the purple super light here. And I'm gonna even come down this way. See how it's kind of looking dirty? That's okay, we want it to look a little dirty. We want to add some pink down here. And you know what we need to go? A little bit more yellow over here because if you look at this angle, it's almost like an S. So you can start here and think of it like an S. So if you wanted to, you could kind of make a little, a little soft S there and then just fill it in. I need to wet my brush and all I'm gonna use is water here. It's just gonna make it kind of murky looking, which is what we want because we're gonna add some gray in. and a little bit more yellow. I'm gonna clean my brush and I'm gonna start out with the grays. So, black and white make gray. I just pull it over to the side and then start to build up my gray that way. So we have some gray here. We have another like mountain here. We have the water bed. We have another little mountain here, then another one here. This one goes all the way across and then goes up. We have another one here. I feel like I've painted this before. Maybe I haven't. I mean, I didn't paint that one, but I feel like I painted this one before. I don't know, who knows? I've painted so many. I'm gonna come in with black and I'm just gonna go at the tip here with this black and I'm gonna have my sides too. Then I'm gonna do the same thing right here, just hit that, and here. I'm gonna switch my brush, because I don't, this one's too big for the angles that I'm trying to get. And we have to fill all of this in. I need more white. More white here, and more white here. Soften this up and fill it. I'm gonna switch back to the bigger brush for a second just to fill it in. Same here. And don't forget about your sides and your other side and your bottom. So you'll get the bottom too. Okay, now that I have all of this on, now I'm gonna start to separate it 
And I also have to add the clouds. Where's that mama brush? Here we go. I'm going to take straight black. Okay. I'm going to come along here and make the definition of my land. Okay. Then this goes down a little bit with the straight black here. So it goes super soft. You can do this any angle you want. Then we're going to make another little land here. See how this kind of separates the two lands? And then this one goes down a little bit and then back in. But this is all shaded. Be sure to shade this out or you're just going to have long, thick lines. And you can add more white as you're starting to fade these out. You can add more white because the white will add more definition to your lands. So add more white here. I might have gone a little bit too white, but that's okay. We'll just blend it out. And then go up like this. Okay. Next land goes this way. Just like that, and then this one is going to be a little bit darker. And it's also going to go across. So be sure to add it across. I feel like all of a sudden now I'm like hyper focused on this land. <laughs> this is the tricky part is like changing your angles and the heaviness of how hard you push the brush and Okay, so you're going to do that same thing here. Just come in and add that land. Add some more land up here. And then add more land here. Perfect. You're going to shade this like this. You're going to go lighter gray as you start to work your way down. You can grab some white, throw some white in there, separate your land from the one below, the little um, hill here. You can add more whites. however you want to do it. So, now I'm going to soften this up because we want this to be a little bit lighter through here and we want to bring out some of the gray into the water. So I'm going to switch my brush again. to this one that's in my hair. Just grab some white and then all you're going to do, super, super soft. Just start kind of feathering it out. Super, super little bit. Can you hear it? <laughs> I feel like everyone can hear my canvas. You're going to do that same thing over here. Just soften it up. Now, you know, if anyone ever has any questions, they can always contact us to, to ask advice if I go too fast on a show or 
Maybe you're just not getting the angle of whatever you're trying to do, and that's okay. I'm going to add some more dark here just to kind of separate it a little bit. Same thing here. Same here. Go dark here. And let's go dark here. Also, I like to make sure my sides are done. And I think I'm going to let this part dry. I'm going to do that. I'm going to let it dry. I'm going to grab that square brush again, and I'm just going to softly take a little bit of gray with the yellow and a little white and just, so oop, that was too much. That's okay. Just grab the gray. See how when I just added that little bit of white and gray mix, now it gives it a whole nother look. We're mixing a little with the black, but that's okay. It's just because it didn't dry. If you let yours dry in between, it'll make a different, different path. We're just going to add some more yellow or some more white in. Give it this angle. This one kind of comes out a little more. And I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to come up here and do the clouds. Then we're going to put the, um, the, I don't want to say the feathers. They're not feathers. They're water. Or the plants. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I like to roll my brush when I do clouds. So this is going to kind of... It's going to be tricky for you at home, but I just suggest that you just keep practicing. What I do is I roll. So what I, I start out and then I just kind of roll. It's just messy. Wherever your brush goes, let it go. If you feel that it's too much, you can spread it out with your finger. Soften it up a little bit. Come in with just some straight white, too, at the tips. See how I just let it kind of skip itself around? Same thing here. You can put as many on as you would like. Oh my gosh, I just put yellow with mine. Whoops. That's okay. I totally took the yellow, dipped it into the white, and then made a cloud, but it's okay. I'm going to soften it up with my finger. Same thing up here. Just add some of that yellow, make it look like the sky is reflecting some of the yellow. See how I'm just rolling it? then touching it, smear it out, then take just the tip of your brush and just add some definition onto that cloud. Watch videos on how to make clouds if you're unsure. If you're more comfortable just kind of outlining first, you can outline like that. Or if you're not comfortable outlining first and you just want to roll with it, roll with it. Super easy. You can add some streaks in there, make it look more cloudy. Make sure you fill your clouds in. You don't want them to be random floating, you know, little levers there, levels of clouds. Next, we're going to take black, 
This is our final step. And just start adding some foliage. Again, you can just kind of roll your brush and dab. If you want to make some little twigs, little grass, you could do that. Make some grass here. Dab it around to make a little flower. It's pretty easy, this part. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. You would also work now, too, like on the shapes of this again. If you feel that it's too much darkness, too much lightness, whatever. All you do is just keep filling all of this in. You can always pause, take a look at it, see how you like it, switch things around a little bit. You could change the shape a little bit of your um, of your land, add a couple more rocks in. Just play around with it until you have your perfect piece, okay? So, once you are all finished and you love your painting and you think, oh my gosh, this is the best thing, I'm going to give it away as a gift or I'm going to hang it on my wall, what we want you to do is own your piece. It's important to own it, sign your bottom of your canvas and um, to show everyone your amazing work. So Just like this and boom, you're done. Obviously, we're going to work some more on this, but in the meantime, have fun painting and enjoy all of your canvas art. You are watching WCTV, Wadsworth Community Television.